Hey, what's up, everybody? So in this video, we'll be discussing how to find the nth derivative of e to the power e to the power ax and a to the power mx, right? So let's say the function. So let's go for the first one. Y is equals to e to the power ax, right? So we know that y is equals to e to the power x. The differentiation of y is equals to e to the power x is e to the power x only. This is but this is actually e to the power one. What we are doing here, and then I'm and then I'm differentiating x also. So I get a one here, right? So I get e to the power x. The point I'm trying to make here is that means the first derivative is equal to a into a into e to the power a x. And the form which we and the form which we studied in high school is a corollary of that where a is equals to 1. So similarly, if I try to differentiate it further, y2 is equal to, th that means the differentiation of y2 is differentiation of y1, right? So a is a constant, it will stay, it will stay here. And a is a constant, so we need not count that. We'll, we'll deal with e to the power ax, right? So e to the power ax, if you want to, if you want to differentiate this, so we'll get the same thing only. That is a into e to the power ax, right? Which will, which will, which will combine with the a which we got in, which we got when we found the first derivative, right? So, so, so we got a square into e to the power ax, right? If I find the third, third derivative. I get a cube into e to the power ax because from the from the first one I got a square as a constant from the first one I got a square as a constant so I'll leave it so I'll leave it as it is and then I'll differentiate e to the power ax which I know is a into e to the power ax so we can generalize it for nth n derivative that is a to the power an into e to the power ax right because each time because here if you because here if you observe exponent of a is equal to the 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 exponent of a is equals to the exponent of a is equal to the order of differentiation right so y y3 if i have if i'm differentiating it for the third time the exponent of a is 3 right and with that e to the power ax is is a constant so we can use the similar so we can use the similar approach to find the nth nth derivative of y is equals to a to the power mx right now here if i differentiate this now here if i find the first derivative of y is equals to a to the power mx a to the power a to the power mx into log a and then i differentiate mx so which gives me m the, if I differentiate a to the power mx, I get a to the power mx log a with that differentiation of mx, which is m, right? So if I double, double differentiate it, same thing, similar thing. Here we know that log a is a constant and m is a constant. So we'll leave it, leave it. So we'll leave it as it is and we'll just deal with a to the power mx which we know is which we know that if we differentiate that we'll get the same thing m into a to the power mx log a if i if i just merge if i merge all of this so i'll get m square and log of a square and let's observe the pattern from the first two derivative a to the power mx is a constant right and exponent of m is equals to the and exponent of m is the order of the differentiation right hence we can generalize that the nth derivative of a to the power mx is m to the power n into a to the power mx into log a to the power n right so so you can see the exponent of m and log a is equal to the exponent of the derivative and a to the power mx is a constant right so 
and here there is a and here there is a and here there is a corollary if m is equals to 1 then we know that 1 to the power n is 1 and if i put 1 here this will be a to the power x and here log and with log a to the power n so we'll have so we can further generalize it for m is equals to 1 which is a to the power x into log a to the power n 